boys first. Okay. Bobby boy. Bobby boy. Okay. Ha ah. <laughs> ha. I mean, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work? Okay, well use yours. Call it, it's a strike right here. Strike? Be the first one of the day if so. Uh oh. I overthought that. Yeah. That's what happened. This is going to be a spare. A spare? Okay. That's a lot of pins to pick up in a spare. I don't know, bro. It's uneven. It's uneven. It's, it is uneven. I agree. Amazing. That was amazing. Wow. I'm done with Bob already. <laughs> All right, that's how it shook out. the trash can nachos here some brussels sprouts this is dragon's breath fries right yep. and i got some buffalo wings and this uh cheese pizza yep all right well these are probably from the out oh no they're not they're from steel like all right so that was the uh flavor town duck pin bowling and then they've got a a limited menu over there um that menu will change potentially like seasonally. It'll also change as they are trying to tweak different things. So um, what you saw on the menu that I showed you might not be the same thing when you go in, but what it is is, is a limited menu. It doesn't have everything that you have over in the main eating area. It's a little different than the, the, uh, the tiki bar um, menu that, that you would get there, but it's, it's essentially like uh, some, some bar food. Um, some appetizers, uh, di different little things that you can choose from. So the deck pin bowling was a lot of fun, and it's great for a, a group. Um, you could go with on a date, you could go with just your family, um, but I think a big group would be fun as well. It has a similar vibe to, to bowling, of course. It's a little bit different in how the pins knock over, and um, you get three rolls instead of tr traditional two. Uh, in bowling, but uh, it, it was a lot of fun. And the the food over there, everything that I ate was very good. I was able to try a couple different things from what we all ordered. I will say this is going to be one of the more expensive places that you eat in town, whether it's in the main restaurant, Tiki Bar, or in the Duck Pen Bowling area. Some of their prices do run a little bit higher. So keep that in mind when you go. Um, I love the options that, that you have there, though. Uh, you have some shopping nearby. You have that Mountain Mile play yard, which is just fantastic. Um, cornhole and different things that they have outside. They have the arcade inside. So a lot of options to play uh, if you're if you're eating in one of the restaurants there. So I, the food is always good. 
I've enjoyed the food there all three times that I've gone. I would continue to go there because I, I love the location and, and the food is different than, than most places that you would eat at in the Smokies. Um, but you will have to, to just keep price in mind if you're feeding a large family. All right, thank you so much for coming along with me on this uh, adventure. Uh, if you like this kind of video, be sure to give it a like and, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything that we put out in the future. We do restaurant reviews and attractions and places to stay uh, in the Smokies and beyond the Smokies. That's why we're Smokies Plus. But this has been another video from the Great Smoky Mountains. We hope you have a great day. God bless.